Hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. He doesn't leave his room high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. You're right. He needs help. You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. I don't have any requests. Better for the both of us. Unless you like waiting, of course. Mr. DeLuca has good intentions, but let's just say his ability to prioritize is a bit lacking. I believe it has something to do with his sobriety. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. And won't be seen anywhere again, ever. Your presence here has really made a difference. You've opened a lot of minds to the idea of welcoming in the Commonwealth. Hey, what are you Bobby. Doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy doing what? Getting high? So what? After all that shit that happened with Austin? I need this, man. Leave me alone. Don't you want to quit? Well, yeah, I do, but I can't. This place, man, and what happened? Jet is all that makes it... bearable. You need to quit. Austin almost died because of your habit. You're putting others at risk. But how am I supposed to do it? I can't handle that withdrawal shit. Not after everything that's happened. Just get some help, Bobby. Tina said Rachel has drugs that'll help you get through this. she do that? After what happened? You're right. What if I screw up again? I'll go. I'll go right now. Do you wear your vault suit in the Commonwealth, or just when you visit us? Heard we got a pretty big mess to look into now, but that new vault wing. Everything's under control. That kid who got hit is gonna be all right. Aaron told me how you saved Austin's life. I guess you're not bad for an outsider. Tina. Did you did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? Good. He went to see Rachel. He's cleaning up. No shit! You actually did it? 
That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. You actually want to leave? Every day. Maybe after things settle down here, we finally will. The vault needs you. The vault needs old Rusty, as much as I'd want to take him with us. He's the brains behind the Bobby, if you know what I mean. Who knows? Maybe Bobby will want to learn a thing or two, now that he's cleaned up. Hey, Tina. Never thought I'd see the day when Bobby cleaned up. I never thought I'd say it. I'm glad I'm off the jet. Hey, Bobby. You were right, man. Those drugs were killing me. Damn it. She's holding that wrench. It's got Galvin's to be a flaw in the tools. hybridization. Better deal big gaps if you got them. Another lamp. <sighs> it's unfortunate there was only a single cure. I would have loved to study it further. Excuse me, Dr. Forsythe. Ah, the dangers of curiosity. Lucky for Austin, he does appear to have nine lives. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Patch me up, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. All right. Let's flush your system. All done. Any other complaints? That was it. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. Are you tough enough to take on the champ? Who's the director? General Atomics patented director management system, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously without the need for human intervention. 
That's all. Very well. Have a nice day. Any deviation from standard operating procedures so must be authorized by the director. Howdy there. I'm on it, sir. Welcome to Slocum's Joe. Can I set you up with a nice hot cup of coffee? On the house. No thanks. All right. Well, come again. All employees, report suspicious behavior to the director immediately. Number 12. Please take a number for faster service. 13. Someone will be with you shortly. something to feel ashamed of. Do come back when you can afford it. Stop! Stop! You have to pay! <laughs>
error, unhandled exception in boxing module, lethal. You hear a fight? Round one. Fight! <laughs> Supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. What ID? Explanation issued. This is a threat. Present your ID! Wait, manual activation? Is there any other kind? Automatic activation was scheduled for January 1st, 2078. Wait. Analyzing. Corrupt task detected. Task scheduler repaired. Now executing previously scheduled task. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. Done. Designating new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business! As the grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismissed! I'm busy, soldier! Dismissed! Oh, can we see the old state house? Maybe they have the tourist brochure. Talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you get around. Hey! The 
Institute is finally gone. We can all breathe easier without them lurking behind everyone's lives. Thank you. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Can you do it or not? I won't even consider something like this unless there's a good reason. I was programmed to further our studies of disease, pathogens and viruses. I cannot do this with the fundamental limitations of my robotic systems. If I become human, with the wealth of information in my databanks, I hope to do much good for the Commonwealth. A pre-war robot with your knowledge and skills, plus human cognition. Yes, you could potentially save many lives. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making? A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand? Well, it's already somewhere between the two. Why would it only work on a synth? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. So it is possible, then? Likely, even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. You know about the mind wipes I perform on synths. But... But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Hey, Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it?
So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a synth. We're supposed to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. What would G5 have wanted? G5 was scared. Like most synths, she was terrified the Institute would find her and send her back. I tried to convince her that she could live free, as herself, but she didn't listen. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or Curie. That's promising. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? Are you okay, Curie? I feel... functional, but this feeling... My chest is tight. Poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Please, let us see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. You need something, yes? Hey there. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel... better. Come, I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Listen, G519 went through a lot. But she was good. Solid. I hope... I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. What was G5 like? Tough. Tough enough the SRB had to strip her mind. More than once. When I saw G5, she didn't even recognize me. But I owed her from my time in the Institute. That's all I'm going to say. Losing G5 was tough, but I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ.
Institute is finally gone. We can all breathe easier without the lurking hand of the enzymes. Tighten this. Um, hello? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? It's a genuine get up buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. Best toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Sorry, no. Of course not. But... Hmm. I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Automatoys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. You, on the other hand, well, you look like you've seen everything. I'm sure you can handle it. Now. Where was I? Feel free to look around. Let's see now. You need some...
are so very, very distracting. You know this, yes? Uh, what's up? It is a personal matter. About, well, my control of feelings is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> With your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier, you. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. Hey there. You're back. Were you able to find those parts? I've got them right here. You do? All right. Let me take a look. Yes. Yes. It's all here. It's really all here. You've more than earned your reward. Here. Here. Just like I promised. Now, I need to get back. To work. Finally. <clears throat> Tighten this. Nice to finally have the parts I need. Now I can get some real work done.
just like that, the Institute was gone in a puff of smoke. be of assistance. Here's what I have on me.
something from me? 